Catherine and I met um, back in eighth grade when I came up here to play hockey for the American Legion. Um, we went to school together and just through mutual friends um, were introduced. The first thing I remember about Pat is he was the new guy in school. Him and Evan both moved from Marquette to play hockey, so they were two these very cute looking boys that moved in and all the girls were spooning over them and they were both very tall compared to other the, of the other guys in school. So all the girls were very obsessed with these two new boys and Evan started dating my friend Brooke and then they introduced me to Pat and I guess the rest is history. But we have been together for 13 years, so. The first thing I noticed with her is she's just so caring, um, willing to do anything. Um, for anybody, um, doesn't really get mad uh, and very forgiving. I knew Pat was the one when I was out in South Dakota visiting him um, my freshman year of college and the Sioux Falls is the city he was playing in at the time has a giant escalator that leads up to security so you kind of say goodbye and then you get on this escalator and you're forced to travel up this escalator for a really long time almost like watching the person you just said goodbye to and I remember just sobbing and thinking I don't want to leave him I want to stay in South Dakota with him I don't want to go back to Ohio and I think that was I've been in love with him for a lot of years, but I think at that point I realized just how much he brought happiness into my life and that I didn't want to leave him in South Dakota. And thankfully, I think a few months after that was when he committed to Bowling Green and I knew that the following year he was gonna be joining me at college, so. As far as knowing she was the one, I don't know if there was a specific time, um, but we had just we had been together for so long and we kind of, almost grew up together um, and we were just kind of a, a natural fit. Um, you know, we were best friends and, and really, you know, went to each other with everything and it was just kind of a, I think, a natural thing when you've been with someone for so long that it was like, hey, you know, this is who I'm meant to be with and who, you know, I'm going to share the rest of my life with. I, Patrick, take you, Catherine. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. And Catherine, please repeat after me. I, Catherine, take you, Patrick. I, Catherine, take you, Patrick. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. got engaged on Mission Point or Old Mission Point in Traverse City. Um, so we drove out there, the sun was just kind of going down but it was still light out and then I was kind of standing behind her and just, um, you know, dropped down to one knee and she turned around and blame, will you marry me? <laughs> I didn't realize it would be so uh, difficult to actually get the words out. Um, you know, you've known this person forever and then it's like one, you know, for four seconds you can't speak. Um, it's kind of, you know, obviously speaks to the importance of the event. And all of our parents were there. It was really nice. They all gave us hugs, and I kind of kept staring down at the ring because it was very surreal. I did say yes. 